Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to introduce you to powers, what they are and what they represent. We're going to start off real simple. Let's take a number like 5 with a little 3 right here. And this consists of a number called the base, which is this one, the 5, and another number, superscript number like that, called the exponent. and the entire thing combined together is known as a power. And a power is nothing more than repeated multiplication. So powers are repeated multiplication. If we're looking at this problem here, which is five to the third power, or sometimes just referred to as five to the third, in expanded form, this really means 5 times 5 times 5. A common mistake that a lot of people think is that this is 5 to the third is really 5 times 3. This is not true. That's a very common mistake for middle school students. So 5 to the third is equal to 5 times 5 times 5, which equals 125. And if we use the transitive property, we can see that 5 to the third is equal to 5 times 5 times 5, which is equal to 125. We can then say that 5 to the third is equal to 125. 5 to the third is equal to 125. So if we said evaluate 5 to the third power, then that would mean 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 125, and the answer we're looking for is 125. So evaluate means tell us what that actually is equal to after you multiply it out. Powers still hold true when variables are involved. For example, n to the fourth power is really representative of n times n times n times n. Or we can have a combination. Let's say we have a to the second times b to the third in expanded form that would be equivalent to a times a times b times b times b and that's how you work with powers. 